All right, hags, it's time for another portfolio roasting. So I was just looking at this one, uh, which is a very bad portfolio. And then I have an example of a good portfolio. And actually, I should reset this. Really should have prepared this video better, but uh, what the fuck. So this, first of all, the whole aesthetic here is generic as fuck. It's like rip off. It's just you're looking at what everyone else is doing. And um, you're you're just using like a Shad CN React template, or maybe you're using Svelte or something. I don't know. Maybe maybe you're a little better than that. But this aesthetic is so mainstream and so copied. This rounded button, this hover animation is so like Tailwind templates could easily be vibe coded. Then this quote, I see tons of people doing this. I don't know why you think that neglecting basic rules of grammar with capitalization is like at all a good indication of your developer abilities. And then this quote itself is really fucking embarrassing. As far back as I remember, I always wanted to be a developer. Yeah, I've been a corporate slut since I came out of the womb. Like. You don't even have, you can't conceptualize what a software developer is until you're like six or seven, unless you're like a serious iPad baby. And even then it's like, do you have the concepts that are necessary for building up the understanding to understand a developer? And you have, you clearly have memories of being a very young child. So this is just straight up a wrong quote. And then not a gangster, but I, I don't even know what you're getting at. It's some kind of internet reference. And then this text I know you're, you think like saying um, just enough chaos to keep things interesting and um, no buzzwords, just projects that work and occasionally surprise you is like so like Silicon Valley, like, I don't know. It's like trying to be edgy and different, but it's like you're trying to do what everyone else is doing. So it's just not, it's just, you're just copying the status quo and it's just like super average. Um, building stuff that looks good, runs smooth, and doesn't throw a console error every three seconds. That's the goal anyway. Eh, like, it, it just doesn't say a whole lot, you know? It's like, <laughs> can you hire me? I, I want to make things that are good. <laughs> okay, thanks, thanks, dude. Like, that's what everyone fucking wants. And um, it's just, like, I've seen so many websites that have this kind of dark theme, bold white text, bold three color accents, um, like this is this is like reading is very AI to me to be honest. Maybe it's not. Maybe you're just copying everything you see by hand. But I think this could be AI. And um, some built to solve problems. Okay, this guy is not an English speaker, so maybe I'll cut him some slack. Some just see if I could. Some just to see if I could. Some built to solve problems. Some just to see if I could. Okay, I kind of get what you're saying, but yeah, that's a that's kind of a chopped sentence. All shipped with curiosity, code, and a bit of They used code? No way! Oh my god! <laughs> wow, thanks for clarifying that, dude. <laughs> and a bit of chaos. Yeah, nothing says hireable like a bit of chaos. Hire me, I I'm gonna introduce a bit of chaos. <laughs> I know, like, you're trying to sound edgy and different and innovative in Silicon Valley, but that just... Since everyone else is doing that, it's just cringe. And then, um, yeah, AI website builder. Okay, this guy is a deep vibe coder. And we're going to see TypeScript, Next.js, and Tailwind everywhere. Boom, 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 boom. Classic web developer copycat. Yeah, nothing new here. Semantic legal search. I'm guessing almost all of these are vibe coded. And, yep, Firebase, very standard. Vercel. This guy loves his zero-click deployments. This guy will not touch Nginx or anything close to that level. This guy is a GUI user, 100%. Um, pathfinding Visualizer, like, Sorting Visualizer and Pathfinding Visualizer are also some of the most redundant, done-before projects. Like, I get that, I get that they're great learning projects, but have you tried making a project and not slapping it on your portfolio with vibe coding? I think just, I don't, I don't know. This is all, like, so, so vibe coding and, like, you're like a living in 25 levels of abstraction type of guy who just loves the, the bleeding edge JavaScript on top of JavaScript. Like if there's not 40,000 different runtimes and language abstractions, you're not comfortable. If it's not something that's in the uh, context training window of the newest Gemini, forget it. This is just like... Uh, it's just so generic in this theme of rounding and all these like icons skill icons it's just 
it's just not good, bro. It's it's what everyone's doing. Um, and yeah, all all your projects are all like AI, and they're they're all like so product focused. This is something that pisses me off about a lot of the modern products, and in general, like the culture of young developers. I see so many people cosplaying as like Silicon Valley startup founders. They want to be the next Mark Zuckerberg and everything is like business oriented. You can see there's big paragraphs here. AI powered legal document search platform that leverages Voyage AI embeddings, Langchain and Pinecone for intelligent semantic search over uploaded legal PDFs. Includes uh, citation generation, document management, natural language querying. And it's like just the most, okay, let's, let's actually look at the source code of this. At least it's like a fairly big project, but the concerning thing is it's all in TypeScript. I would I would think there would be something else. And this all looks goddamn fucking vibe coded. This whole thing, all these emojis, like all of this looks vibe coded. And then app components. I mean, to be fair, like you at least built out a bunch of I don't know. I'm 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 too lazy to look at this. Maybe this is a legit project, but it's just not very exciting. It, it, it feels like you're putting so much into the business and branding of these that I don't trust it. It's like if all that work went into branding, where's the actual work in programming? I'm guessing you're not, you're probably like a junior developer, maybe 18 to 20. And the fact that you have like this, these, these projects, like these big named projects, interview and um, repo doc, like, like big projects that look like they're marketable, full on, packaged things is really suspicious it's like why are you so big on marketing bro you're not these are not successful startups these are small projects from then to now places i've worked things i've learned and a few bugs i definitely didn't cause probably all right whatever you got some humor and you're yeah you're not an english speaker so not the worst and maybe you're like t insane 10x cracked in in uh, india i don't i don't know what the dev culture there is like but the React tail in Node.js and Express is just like so. Uh, okay, skill constellation again. Like uh, I really fucking hate seeing this. To be honest, it's just so goddamn annoying. Like I, I just want to see some real projects and putting like N8N on your resume. That is actually wild, dude. And and people that put Git and NPM on your resume. Oh my god. And and, and super base too. Like <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's just this in material UI. It's just like so web developer. Um, yeah. Part developer, part debugger, part accidental designer, making things work eventually. It's just like so generic and corpo corp. Full stack developer balancing clean code with clean footwork. Okay, what do you mean by footwork? And also, what does clean code mean? What, like, what is cleanliness in code? I like building things that feel purposeful. I like building things that feel useless, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Run fast and don't scream another generic product the moment you load them. That's hilarious, actually, like how ironic that is. And then you have products that are like <laughs> repo docs, <laughs> Codely, AI website builder. Oh my God, that's so unique. <laughs> that's actually hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, wow, that, that wasn't a generic product at all. Firefox has AI now? Oh my god. Everything is descending into, into nonsense. I care about writing code that's clean, but not obsessive, fast, but not frantic. Okay, so you're just rephrasing shit. Dude, in the information age, we can't afford to have useless yapping. We need all go, go, go. Actually valuable information. <sighs> and broken more things than I'd like to admit. I, I You're doing this kind of like corny, like, I break things, I write bugs, and it's like, it was funny once, and now you're just, like, repeating it over and over again to the point where it's like, it, it, this guy has a weird obsession with breaking things and writing bugs. Like, how much has this actually happened that he's mentioned it four times so far? I'm not here to chase buzzwords or reinvent buttons. I build things worth building, or at least interesting enough to break and rebuild better. See, at least enough to break, again, another, like, when I'm not staring at a terminal or squinting at Figma. <laughs> I need glasses. I can't see my Figma. <laughs> I'm probably deep in a rabbit hole of philosophy, physics, or trying to figure out that one CSS bug still exists. Why that one? So another like another bug thing. I I don't know, dude. You're you're kind of just like 
I'll, I'll show you an example of what I consider to be a good product. Also, this material U, UI design and all these icons. I'm just, I'm fucking sick of it, dude. All this Next.js and shit. This one is really interesting to me. So it's, this is a dev portfolio, but it's, like, you can see it's not, it doesn't look like any of those other super sleek, like, you can see this has a loading animation. You can also see they've done the CSS clipping. Uh, maybe this is an AI thing. So that when you scroll to the bottom, there's no like blank white. You see when I scroll up on this, you can see that little white thing. Now this is like very interesting to me actually because I used to be like, oh, I gotta get, a ri uh, gotta get rid of that. It's, it's hideous. It's like, if you're a good developer, you don't do that. And uh, you can see this guy also styles the scroll bar. I used to be even like a hide the scroll bar advocate like like Apple does, but some people convinced me against that. This is a great indication of human design. You can see it's uh, it's like not does not look vibe coded. This looks legit. And this menu on the side, hamburger menu. You can see how like actually kind of ugly this is, but it's like it's great because it's human. It's like this this person actually thinks for themselves, and um, yeah. And that, I know that's kind of a weird and opaque criteria to, to have is like, this is human and not AI slop. I'm not hugely against AI. It's just like when you're learning and when you're a developer, I hate to see people like trying to sound like successful startup founders. Don't pretend you have the next evolutionary or revolutionary. God damn it. That's so fucking embarrassing. Don't pretend you're the next th hot thing. Like, you, you have a few years to go, at least, before you're ready to do anything serious. And this is just, like, humble. I built this myself. I'm, I'm learning. I'm not trying to vibe out a successful product here. And I'm not going to fully read through this, but it's just way more soulful. It's, it, it's like someone actually telling their story instead of just vibe coding out. <laughs> I break things. I break things. Please. I'm so passionate. If I'm not squinting at Figma or going down a rabbit hole, I'm breaking things. And I'm so passionate at art and, and designing purposeful products that aren't like the rest of the products. Like, don't say that. Then it's like you're just... <laughs> oh, my God. I, okay. It's, it's sometimes hard to even articulate my disdain for some of these people out here. But, yeah, this is just like a... See, this is this is kind of ugly as shit, but it's like it's it's real you know and this is like he took the time to to style these and layer them and like it actually does look kind of nice this is like nice polaroid style photography writes poetry you might think that's cringe but poetry is actually like pretty pretty fire technology i used to hate poetry but it's like a way of condensing certain concepts that language has a hard time capturing into, I, I don't know. Poetry, guys, you know what's up. If you don't know what's up, then go read some poetry. Parental encouragement. Okay, I, I read this a bit. I mean, yeah, you can see this is a legit guy. He's, he's telling some stories. I, I read Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn and Wizard of Oz as a kid, too. So I know this is a, a real guy. He's not vibing this out. He's not, like, sugarcoating... I churn out products, please. I'm I'm such a corporate slut. I'll do anything you want. I'll I'll ship products all day. I know NPM and Git and Vercel. Look at all the badges I have. This guy's just like, I'm just a kid going along. I'm I'm learning things. I'm not trying to be what I'm not. Um, yeah, and it's just like it's just some nice writing, and I like these these big like sloppy arrows. It's like this is just like a nice little sight and. I, I also appreciate these glass brick walls, so. Yeah, there's just, like, so much more flavor to this. And, and I used to be, like, a show people what you know, but to be honest, like, this meta of getting hired like this is dead as fuck. This shit never works anymore. Now what works is networking with people and just being interested and uh, showing interest and actually doing work and not trying to, like, skip work by being performative. Um, so... Yeah, sorry, whoever that was, um, portfolio. Like, this is just, like, you had to take the time to, to put these in hearts. And uh, it's, it's not, like, perfectly aligned. But it's, like, I can see a human did this, and it's not it's not an AI slop. And then you got, is that the Roadrunner? Um, or a Roadrunner, at least. And, like, this, you had to have constructed by hand, I mean... 
it's hard to tell these days sometimes, but. And you can see this guy kind of goes forward in his progression. Yeah, it's like a whole life story. And then it changes themed themes too. I didn't know that. Like, look at this shit. This is actual, like, a nice web experience. And look at this. <laughs> That's awesome. I guess I should read some of this writing because I read other writing too. Well, it's it's poetry maybe. Um, I'm not I'm not all that poetic, so I I feel like. Oh, I I love how the arrows keep changing, and like this, this is awesome. It's like blanket themed. <laughs> I love the layering you have here. And like this grayscale, it's just like, it's so not, it's so different than the other website. It's clear you like put a lot of time into this. And and the, the colors are on point. How do I get to the next page? You got an arrow down here somewhere? Oh, <laughs> dude, that's awesome. Um, yeah, this is a real ass website. This is actually heartwarming to see that that um, the internet hasn't fully devolved into slop. And I'm just skimming through this quickly, but... Is it enough to just focus on what is right at the present moment? Just seems like there should be another holiday occurring at the same time to also think about things can be better and not be thankful for what you already have. And dude, I went through exactly the same experience as you. It's like when you actually bury your soul a little bit instead of like just copying what you see other people doing and what you expect corpo, uh, just the corporate or overlords to want you to say and you actually just say what you're feeling. It's like I, I've been going through exactly the same presence journey and like talk about the real shit facing Gen Z, bro. And you'll just, you'll you'll do way better. Um it's not positive to just stay content with what you have. The day after Thanksgiving is Black Friday, where many people have pointed out the paradox of being th thankful for what you have one day and then plunging into extreme cons commercialism the next. However, this isn't what I am referring to. I'm just speaking in a material way. Um, and and your, your writing is like maybe slightly awkward. I'm not the best writer either because I kind of dove into other things, but it's like, I don't care because the information is getting across. You at least care enough about grammar to not leave things uncapitalized. You're quoting things, you're referencing things. It's like you're just a this is you're you're a real guy, you know? And I'd hire a real guy. I would not hire someone who's just being performative and um trying to yeah, it, the thing is like I want to know what's What's it like to be like a developer in India? Like what, just show me more of your day-to-day, -day, more pictures, more like humanity than this like vibe-coded sleek ass slop. Just because it looks good doesn't mean it's not slop. <laughs> yeah, very well done. Um, oh, and this sidebar even changes with the, uh, the theme changes. That's really cool. I'm curious, do you have like a, do 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 like a, a resume somewhere on this that that would be kind of interesting to see high school life living the optimal life oh wow <laughs> the animations were a little slow for me for my gen z brain but yeah this is dude this is you're a real guy i love to see that I would actually hire this. And the thing is, what people fail to consider when they're making those like slop websites is that they have all this ego. And, and I was there too, that I am the next best thing to hit the industry. And you're not. And the senior engineers are far smarter than you. And all these patterns I'm recognizing and regurgitating to you, all of these senior engineers are thinking the same things that I am. And when they see a website like this and they read through this and they get an actual idea of who you are and some of the things you care about, you're actually gonna get um, a real job. And uh, just stop applying with LinkedIn. The LinkedIn culture is, is kind of ridiculous. It's good to connect to people on LinkedIn, but stop trying to be a startup founder. Stop trying to skip the work. Stop trying to vibe your way to millions of dollars. Just um, be humble, be a normal person. 
Uh, life isn't going to be like, not everyone's going to end up as a, as a millionaire, but you can end up with a great tech job and you can end up with a very happy life if you just be yourself and, and stop trying to mimetically copy everyone around you. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Catch you next time.